What I love about whiskey are the people and the story. Most of what you drink is a story and the people are there to tell it to you. My name is Nate Ganna and I'm the founder of Single Malt Daily. What I love about when people are first introduced to whiskey with me is the way they approach it versus the way they would approach it any other time. They get this sense of understanding and they feel more confident in what they're drinking. Some of my favorite pairings with whiskey would be sushi and YQ beef. Definitely don't see it coming, definitely out of left field, but it goes perfectly. So people always ask me if I go scotch first or if I go bourbon first. Now, truly, it just depends on what I'm feeling, but they're vastly different, and I'd like for you to try all of them, to be honest with you. There's much more than just scotch and bourbon. There's Asian whiskeys, there's global whiskeys everywhere. There's Tasmanian, Australian, Swedish. So you can start with the scotch and the bourbon and kind of work your way out. So as a judge in the San Francisco World Spirits Competition, three things that I look for when judging would be nose. I definitely want to see if the nose is super fragrant. The palate, I definitely want to see if the palate is going to coat my mouth, how it's going to feel, how it's going to linger. But I also want to see the color. Is the color going to match what I think the nose and palate are going to be or supposed to be? How do you develop your palate? Pretty simple. Practice makes perfect. I think every palette is like a fingerprint and it's totally different and unique to that person. One thing that I want people to take away from a tasting with me, hmm, it's probably got to be having some confidence to go out and pick whatever they want when they're at a restaurant or a bar. I'm super excited to take you along with me on a journey through the world of whiskey and teach you how to become an expert yourself. Cheers.